Is everything all right? Yeah, you can come up. Jake, I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, the place is beautiful. Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place. <sighs> All right, let's focus on the goal. Hi everyone, and welcome to Hunting Simulator 2. In this simulation game, you can go hunting for a wide range of different animals in six huge nature reserves, each with unique characteristics. There are three different environments to explore in the game, each with two hunting reserves. The first ones you encounter are in Colorado. Roam the trails of Roosevelt National Forest or the plains of Pawnee National Grassland. But Colorado is not the only hunting terrain available. You'll also be able to wander parts of Texas and certain areas of Europe. There are 33 different animal species to hunt in the game, each found in its natural habitat. From small and big game to predators and waterfowl, all the different types are there to be found. 
We've included males and females for each species, as well as juveniles and older animals, especially for big game, to ensure the fauna you come across is as diverse as possible. The Animal AI has been completely redesigned since the first game to provide an even more realistic experience. Maybe you'll encounter a predator hunting prey of its own. In Hunting Simulator 2, your hunting skills will be put to the test while tracking. Thankfully, you have a faithful companion at your side to help you find the tracks of prey, including footprints, flattened vegetation and droppings. Give your dog the right commands so they can lead you in the best direction. When you're the right distance from your prey, command your dog to wait while you take your time to carefully approach your target. Aim well. The better placed your shot, the more credits you'll receive for your trophy. You can use these credits to buy new hunting licenses, a new dog, or new weapons. The right weapon is crucial to the hunting experience. In Hunting Simulator 2, you can build your hunting kit from over 90 weapons and accessories. All the top brands are available, including Winchester, Bushnell, Barrett and Bear Archery. For clothing, choose from a wide selection of items made by Browning. Vernie Karen and Crypetech to customize your character from head to toe. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow us on social media for more information on Hunting Simulator 2. Till next time. Peggy 16. Welcome to Hirschfelden. With its rolling fields and lush forests, it is one of the most beautiful areas in Central Europe and part of your hunting grounds in The Hunter, Call of the Wild. In this next generation hunting experience, you will explore a vast open world filled with breathtaking scenery and realistic wildlife. The game boasts a large population of animals, thousands, that are persistently simulated with unique needs and behaviors. You're free to hunt anywhere and in any way you want. And should you ever feel lost, the reserve wardens are there to provide you with helpful information. They also present you with a wide range of missions and tasks to take on, where you help and learn more about the local residents. Finding animals starts with listening to their calls or following their tracks. Footprints will show you their pace and direction, while droppings tell you how recently they passed. Once you spot the animal, you may need to get closer without alerting them for a reliable shot. Foliage will hide you from sight, but also makes more noise. Keep a watchful eye on the wind, and make sure that the animal is not downwind from you, as it can pick up on your scent. Moving around increases your heart rate and affects your ability to aim. Hold your breath to steady your aim and line up your shot for a quick and clean kill. Harvesting animals provides the resources you need to buy equipment and upgrade your character. But every harvest is also assigned a score, depending on the size and difficulty of the animal, as well as how skillful your shot was. But there's more to the wild than the animals. Lookout points help you explore the world, while outposts make getting around the huge reserve easier and provide options to rest or stock up. The elements can be fickle, and they will affect both hunters and prey. Over the course of the game, you will progress your character by leveling up a number of different skills, letting you take on more elusive and difficult wildlife with more hunting options. Apart from a wide selection of weapons, scopes, and ammunition to unlock and buy, there's various hunting equipment to help you, such as animal <sighs> collars, scent lures, and optics. Bring all of these specializations into the game's seamless multiplayer and team up with others to take on animals that might otherwise prove too challenging. Who can bag the biggest trophy? Answer the call and find out.
It is the end of the Ice Age, and death for man comes swift and often. Over the next five minutes, you'll experience the harshest time in the history of mankind. This is how Far Cry does the Stone Age. You are Takar, a seasoned warrior of the Winja tribe, known as the Beastmaster. To survive, you must embark on a savage adventure filled with brutal weapons, warring tribes, and mystical journeys. Takar and his people are at the very bottom of the food chain, threatened by man and beast alike. To overcome his many foes, Takar has powerful weaponry at his disposal. Durable clubs, versatile spears, and various forms of the deadly bow and arrow create the foundation of his arsenal. He can craft even deadlier weapons using rare materials found throughout the world. The double bow and arrow takes out two enemies at once, and the addition of fire can turn a cave bear into a flaming ball of destruction. Berserker bombs turn enemies against each other, while bee bombs create lethal distractions. Slings, traps, and other weapons round out Takar's equipment, affording him unlimited creativity in how he approaches each threat. Especially when confronted with fortresses and strongholds brimming with dangerous warriors. Takar has his own special mastery. With the ability to tame and command wild beasts, he ascends from prey to predator. His constant owl companion provides many benefits, from aerial scouting to executing enemies. And other animals provide a variety of useful abilities. With badgers terrifying other wildlife, great cats stealthily eliminating enemies, and bears causing mayhem in combat. Some animals can also be ridden, granting Takar mobility in battle and across this great expanse of land. In order to save mankind, Takar will have to conquer other tribes. Led by the maniacal Ur, the Udam are vicious cave dwellers that attack upon sight. For them, hunting man is no different than hunting beasts. Meat is meat. The only people the Udam hate more than the Winja are the Azila and their merciless leader, Batari. Worshippers of the Sun God, the Azila enslave their victims and terrify foes with their mastery of fire. Wildlife is not the only thing that is plentiful in this world. Lush landscape provides the materials Takar needs to craft his wide assortment of tools. A gifted hunter, Takar can read every facet of his environment. In order to rebuild his village, he'll need to use these talents to find rescue, and protect lost members of the Winja tribe. To unlock the full potential of his village, Takar must acquire the resources necessary to build proper shelters. Newly recruited specialists help advance various techniques, and a larger population allows for the spiritual journeys that might just save the Winja from extinction. <laughs> Nightfall poses many new dangers, even for a Beastmaster, as there's nothing more terrifying than being hunted in the dark. With human survival hanging in the balance, and his life in constant peril, Takar must fight against all odds to rise above extinction. Take the shot. All right, I'm getting a new hunter now. New hunter, new guy. Just send the invite, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's go. I hear gunshots, watch out. We're getting closer to the clue now. 
There's just must be in here. Do you cover me? I'm covering, covering. All clear. All clear. Got it, I got it. Shh, don't let me know you're here. Watch out, 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 watch there's like a team of three inside. I've got the one at the exit. Ah! Spoon number two. He's not in farm. I've taken a shot. Got him, got him. Yeah, I think they're in there. Oh, you think? Guy from the left? He's going through the wall, going through the wall. Nice, nice, nice. Take it, take it. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. that was a good one. Watch out, high four. Okay, back in the way, back okay, in the way. Okay. Nice, boom. <laughs> you go ahead, I'll block this one. Last clue, last clue. That's why coming out. There he is, there he is. Did you see the clue the left? Assassin. Good, I'm running away. Back away. Right, you're right. Grabbing the left one. Oh, guys, he's cloning. He's vanishing now. And now we wait. <laughs> Keeping an eye out. Okay, I see that they're vanishing over there. Let's go. All right, get your bounty. Let's get out of here. Get your own bounty. I'm pretty sure there was someone outside. Yep, I see them through the wall. One second. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's dead. Western exit. Yeah, I see them on the pier. I see them. They're making work work. All right, head okay, just keep running. Yeah, yeah. Oh, We're get shot. Oh, get get shot. shot. Watch out. How many is there? Three in the back. I feel right. I look back. Cover, cover, cover. Yeah, I've yeah. Got one. Oh, got one. Nice, nice, nice. 